So today's video is going to be about the daily recap of helium mining. So we got three miners set up this week, um, one in Calgary, one in Montreal, and one in Halifax. We had varying results, so I'm still going to be doing some research on why the results vary and how we can make the earnings better, but um, it's not bad because the price keeps going up. And um, as the price goes up, so let's go to the presentation. So what's going on here on my phone? As the price goes up, the earnings go up. So you can't complain. Um, yeah, so helium price today in March 19th, it's $9.08. It's up from yesterday. We were around $7.50 on yesterday's stream. So 30% gain on the helium price. Um, it's moving fast, right? So today is the day one results for helium. And uh, the one thing I want to know is, is the placement of all of these miners the same? If the placement is the same, will we have varying results? Is it something like the windows um, are blocking the signal? But uh, we're seeing one miner go five kilometers in, in Calgary. The furthest it hit was five kilometers. I think Montreal was like four kilometers. And then Bedford, um, Bedford was like 400 meters because there's no other miners to hit. So I'm going to have to build that network, network out so I can get more people on the network close to me. Um, but we're going to continue from there. So got three miners, three hotspots in three different cities. Halifax, number one. So Halifax came up with 3.37 tokens at $9.08. So 30 bucks, not bad for only two miners in the area um, there that are in range. So 3.37. So someone asked if I don't have anyone around me. You're probably going to be making uh, around that. Montreal, big earner. Montreal, 6.42 uh, helium earned, which equates to $58. Montreal, I think there was it was hitting around four kilometers was the furthest, and a bunch of them within 700 meters. I'm not sure why Montreal hit so many spots but earned. Uh, a little bit less than Calgary, but we're going to figure it out. Maybe it's the antenna, maybe it's the placement, maybe it was just a different day, and tomorrow might be a different result. So, yeah, Montreal, six, six a day, so 58 a day. If you average that for a month, that's a decent month. And then Calgary. <laughs> I don't know what's going on in Calgary, if it's the air, the building, but Calgary is booming. Um, so we got to get more miners in Calgary because... 19.54 tokens earned in 24 hours, $177. So my brother, he has a broken leg. He's crip walking all over the apartment because uh, he's earning money, wants to quit his job. I told him to relax uh, because we don't know. The results are not typical. So yeah, Simon's caking. He's, he's crip walking with, with a broken leg. So there you go. Um, there you go. So the three miners combined, $266 in earnings. It feels like magic, right? It feels like magic. Um, I don't know what else to say about Helium, but I'm really bullish on the company. I've been waiting for the token to go down around $3. I wanted to buy 10,000 tokens. Yeah, you might have to move back to Alberta or, you know, holler at your old friends, but I don't know um, if this is going to last forever, right? Could this last three years? Could this last six months? Could this last six weeks? I don't know. That's the uncertain part. But what I do know is if you're purchasing a miner for yourself for $450, um, the earlier you get it, if you're earning around this, you're going to at least make your money back. And then the rest is just bonus. So it's great to get started. Um, I'm going to go over a little bit a few other things in crypto. So my crypto portfolio which has nothing to do with helium is doing really well. 17% um, gain today. So if we go over the top coins of the week, let me see. So top coins of the week, you got SIF chain here. 
SIF chain did 89%, but I only bought it today. So I bought it today. Um, it's an exchange that can do multi coins. I'm going to uh, hold it for a couple weeks. Happens while you sleep. Passive income. That's what you want. So the way I see helium, I see helium as real estate. So if you wanted to buy a house right now, the housing market is crazy. You got to pay 400,000 for a you know 1,400 square foot townhouse in Halifax. But what if you had a bunch of helium miners all over the city earning income? It's the same as real estate. So the more properties you have, it's like monopoly, right? The more properties you have, the more income you get, and uh, it's passive. And it's really cheap to get in the game. It's as cheap as free, right? But you're going to have the other party that's paying for the miners take 80%. So we're buying the miners directly so we can get 100%. So yeah, helium's there, 58% gain in seven days. So if you just bought the helium coin instead of buying miners, you would have been up 58%. Uh, Ramp, Ramp is almost like a hedge fund. They trade algorithmically and you can get returns around 12% per year. So Ramp's up 51%. Eternity Chain, that's an NFT. I think this one's going to a billion dollars. So it's at 100 million market cap. Uh, I'm up 253% on eternity chain the average gain of my portfolio is probably around 40 to 50 percent right so then we have happy happy is a blockchain cybersecurity firm i'm pretty sure they detect hacks before they happen that's what they claim they do let's see right now yeah these gains are crazy happy on-chain cybersecurity protocol um, with oracles to prevent attacks. So that's what they claim they do, but all they have is a website right now. So I invest really early and it's like VCs, right? These guys say they're going to do a bunch of amazing things. So data and machine learning plus oracles plus decentralized, decentralized organization for security oracle cross-chain solution. We don't know though. We really don't know. So uh, we'll see what happens with them, but happy they're up back to the portfolio. We got chain guardians chain guardians is an NFT company. So they're like comics and baseball cards and NFTs. I think they're going to do very good just because of the, um, just because of the trend right now. So they're up 23% this week. Digicall another NFT. I'm heavy on the NFTs, 17% Ethereum 2% this week. DeFi wizard. I'm losing on that one. I'm down 23%. That's my only loser. So, and it's also my smallest uh, investment. So that's the portfolio. We're going to check these coins periodically, but that's the portfolio for crypto. And that's all I got for this stream. So hopefully the mining keeps up. Uh, I'm pretty impressed with the first day. I just wanted to do a recap to document this. Uh, and look at it three years from now to see what happens. So that's all I got for today's stream. And uh, see you guys tomorrow.